What is up everybody? My name is Lex and you are now watching Lex Reviewing Things. And today we will be reviewing the Front Tech Quick Release Barbell Collar for the uh, standard one inch, which is more for dumbbells and curl bars. But towards the end of the video, I will be comparing it with the metal starfish uh, twisting things that come with most barbells and curl bars or mainly every standard one inch bar. But first let's start with these. As always there is good news and bad news. For these we will start with the bad news. So bad news number one. Uh, after a month or two these things are either wearing down or they're really just showing their true colors. They slip and slide down the uh, dumbbells even with simple bicep curls. And it got to the point where one end completely slid off while I was doing an overhead tricep exercise. I mean, I'm talking it was super dangerous. The weights on that end dropped and actually smacked on the bench and then tipped over and smacked on the ground. And these were, you know, like iron weights. But never mind that. This thing unfortunately failed and in keeping me safe and that could have that could have ended bad. So the pros for this Front Tech Quick Release Barbell Collar, standard 1 inch. It actually started out as possibly a 10 out of 10 product. It had an incredibly tight lock and it even worked on dumbbells and barbells that have ridges. The ones that you would normally use uh, this metal one that it comes with. So I've noticed oftentimes I actually trend towards like budget options and a lot of the times I'm actually very satisfied. Unfortunately, these standard clips did not deliver. Really the only use I have left for these are for any curl bar exercises, basically anything where the exercise does not ask me to have these clips go uh, straight up and down vertical, rather just to keep them horizontal, which is okay, but it's not what I got them for. So before we kind of see a visual comparison of these two, what would I give the front tech release barbell collar, the standard one inch. No drum roll please, obviously they were dangerous. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to give these a four out of 10. I definitely do not recommend these. Basically starting off, these didn't do the best job, but when I was using heavier weights, I would really just tighten it as hard as I can and it, it was decent, but it did take a while just trying to like spin it like on to it was very tight and then uh, spinning it off that was a little bit time consuming I wanted to explore this option of some uh, collars for the standard one inch so that's again dumbbells and the uh, like the curl bars or any standard bar as opposed to the Olympic size Olympic bars are the ones with the huge two inch sleeves that's kind of what you see at commercial gyms for like squat racks and bench press and stuff like that just as a side note but I will continue to research to see if there are any better quality standard one inch collars. So if you guys know of any really great quality heavy duty standard one inch collars, let me know in the comments below because I would definitely love to check those out. Now, if we were to revisit the metal ones that most dumbbells and curl bars and standard one inch bars already come with, as long as you tighten it pretty good, it's not gonna to be too bad. So I would probably give this maybe anywhere from a seven or an eight. We'll just say like 7.5 because it gets the job done, but it's a little time consuming to, to add it and remove it. But I would definitely recommend this one, the one that actually comes with the dumbbells and the barbells for the standard one inch, rather than going with these front tech brand of collars for the standard one inch. And let me just kind of show you, oh, shouts out to Tum Tum there. Uh, that's my dog. Let me show you guys a little walkthrough demonstration. So I'm just kind of gently shaking the barbell or the dumbbell, sorry, with the collar clip. And it already kind of slipped down that far. As you can see, there's a little bit of space there. And then a demonstration with the metal ones that come with these dumbbells. Um, shaking it rather <laughs> hard uh hitting it and like doing a lot more with it and it's still perfectly intact there was no slippage there once again just to flip it and show how exaggerated the space is in between the collar clip 
and the dumbbell just by wiggling it a little bit. That's how far it slipped. And so here's a little side-by-side -side demonstration. This is the one with the metal, uh, the metal clips that come with it. And this is the one with the uh, collar clip. So if I press on it a little bit, a little bit right there, it slipped right off. So that was my left hand. Um, I pressed on it a little bit, it slipped a little bit. And then I increased the strength with my left hand and it slipped completely off. And it's not like this, these were even heavy weights. This was just a standard five pound weight plate. And you can see it literally just came right off. Now, if I do the same thing with the metal ones, uh, left hand, le well, actually, let me try my right hand. If I do the same thing with the metal ones, they're not slipping at all, actually. And it's not like I tightened them terribly strong or anything like that. I'll even kind of loosen it just so you guys can see. If I retighten them, this is how tight I'm applying the pressure right there a little bit. So I'll do the same thing with the other side, a little bit of pressure and I'll shake it again, try to press it down again. And it's not slipping at all. And also in general, if you guys are interested, I was thinking of making a home gym video. So as you can see, I do have like a squat rack and some plates and uh, an Olympic bar as well. And if you guys are interested, I'm thinking of making a video of how to start your own gym on a budget. I'm thinking somewhere along $300 is all it takes to really get everything you need. And I'll even throw in some quarantine tips there because I know a lot of the used equipment, they're trying to like inflate and sell it for way too much. But if you guys are interested in seeing a little bit of a home video, a home gym video, then go ahead and let me know in the comments below, like this video, let me know in the comments and, uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll do a little quarantine edition of a home gym and a, when the world comes back to normal edition of a budget home gym. And it's not that big of an investment at all all it's a lot easier than i thought and i already have all this stuff also don't judge me uh i don't usually wear work out in my khaki shorts <laughs> i already worked out earlier that day and i just kind of wore that for this video demonstration so this was kind of a comparison video we went over the front tech brand of collar standard one inch clips and we went over the metal one that most of them already come with the free one if you used either or or both and if you think either one was worse, if you agreed with my scores, or if you thought either one was better than the scores that I gave, let me know down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video and YouTube channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.